So you all probably remember 2008 uh, Texas Motor Speedway, you know, my second cup race in the cup series, rookie and going out to qualifying, single car qualifying. Uh, David Gillen had uh, had gone out and had an engine failure just before I went out. So there was some speedy dry on the track and I got a little bit high in turn one, got loose and I went to go to the brake pedal and the brake pedal wasn't there. The brakes were pulled back and so I didn't know what to do, but just hit the gas. So I smashed the gas and uh, that was the wrong choice. I should have just rode it out. Uh, the car took a hard right, right into the wall, head on, and uh, then barreled about 13 times. And you know, it's so crazy because it plays in my mind slow motion. I can still play it in my mind slow motion. And uh, I remember when it landed, it landed on all fours and I kind of wiggled my toes and moved around a little bit. I realized that I wasn't hurt and climbed out, but you know, uh, the biggest thing that went through my mind was, oh man, I hope I don't get fired. Uh, your second race in, in the Cup Series, you know, a rookie and uh, to have a crash like that. And then when I went into the infield care center and they're checking me out, I finally saw the replay on the TV and I was like, oh wow, that, uh, that could have been really bad. And you know, inside the car, you feel it, it felt bad, but uh, watching it outside on the TV, I realized, you know, just how fortunate I was to walk away from it. Right here, gets down in there and then this, I've seen this time and time again, right there. The cars step out. Some of them have been up the hill, but Jeff's was just loose enough that the back end came around. Yeah, Dale, it, it wasn't like it bottomed out or did anything. It just it just got free and then just came yeah, on around, right. it looked like. It, it's when the car rotates. It's when it goes, starts to make that the turn to exit off the corner, and they're over-rotating and spinning out. Well, they'll obviously be getting a backup car and getting it prepared for those two practice sessions tomorrow for Jeff. And this will be by a wide margin, uh, his worst start at Kansas. You just, you, you know, when you're going up the hill like that, you stay in the gas. You heard that. Who has the better restart? A drag race into turn one. This is racing. This is side by side. I know it's 49 to go, but it's side by side racing for the win. You saw the wiggle yep. from Martin Truex Jr. He just could not hold the car on the bottom without being loose. Had to turn the car to the right or he would have spun out and got into the side of the 18. It's hard racing. It's track position racing. You have to be aggressive. You have to push on these restarts. This is the result when you push, but if you don't, you're not going to win these races. The winless streak will continue for Kyle Busch. It now goes over a year. Look at the rear of that car just fold up. Uh, you know, I got to take the blame for that one. Obviously, it was my fault. So, hate it for Kyle. He, uh, he had a great car. We did as well. But, you know, that's racing. So, glad I was able to get out. The fire was bad and, you know, had no brakes. Had to run into the wall a second time just to try to get the thing stopped so I could get out. So, fortunately, I'm okay. And, uh, you know, we'll live to race another day. And having a top five. Oh, right, hang oh, on there, Jimmy Johnson. Sideways. Is he going to be able to say? He's in. No. Oh, what a hard hit. Oh, we're done, guys. We're in it. That was a hard look. Man. He's doing everything he could to try to save it. Just uh, what we've talked about all night is that air problem that you get being that car on the inside trying to make that pass. The five-time champ running seven with 17 laps to go. Looking like he was fighting that car and trying to get all he could. But he was getting he was gonna take the spot away from Newman but the problem he had was that four car Casey Kane was so fast coming from behind. Sorry fellas that was my fault today. I said that was a turning point of the race for the 48 team when they took those four tires. That's what he's talking about. It could be the turning point of the chase for the 48 team. No doubt about that. That was a hard hit Jimmy Johnson just took, too. Hard hit. You can see it's affected Jimmy Johnson, too. He's trying to catch his breath right here. The angle that he went in, the speed that he went into that wall, thankful for all the safety equipment in these cars, the safer barrier that he hit. That was vicious. Yeah, even with all the safety aspects of cars and track, that hurt. 
Not problems ever. Try to take make an analogy, but it would be like somebody basically taking a baseball bat and hitting you right in the stomach. That's as close as I could come. Yeah. You can see Jimmy feeling the effects of that as he walks away from that battered race car. A huge blow physically and certainly a blow for his championship as he's going to finish somewhere down around 35th, 34th place in this race tonight. It's probably the hardest Jimmy Johnson's ever hit in his career. So, racing for 7th place, Ryan Newman, 39, to his outside. Yeah, you could see that car just start to wiggle where he was trying to get in the gas to be able to stay beside Ryan Newman and maybe complete that pass down the back straightaway. Over corrects here, hard, hard impact. See the rear wheels come off the ground. Look at the air that, that car got with those back wheels. How hard it went into the wall. Watch the back tires here. Well, look at the wall, too. Oh. Imagine what that been like without that safer area. Look at Jeff Gordon. Oh, oh, trouble oh. right there. Martin and Hamlin and Regan Smith with a hard crash. Ronnie, you there? Stay both. You say it's coming down. Watch him coming down. Watch. Caution is out, as you see. You can see guy Jeff Gordon loose. That's what happened right there. He had to get out. Then Mark, as he tries to get back to Gordon, the 11 is there. And another aspect of this racing, DJ, Joey Logano in that 20 can't see through Denny Hamlin's car. So even if Denny has lifted off the gas there, he's got no idea. No. Wow. Just look how close. I mean, he just skimmed the back bumper of Jeff Gordon's car. Marcus Ambrose coming by. Gets a little bit of damage. Let's see, once again, Matt Kenseth and David Reagan sneaking by one more time. Third or fourth one today. You see this, you know, when Mark hits that right rear, it just the angle that it sends Reagan Smith in the wall is tremendous. Yeah, and it looked like what happened with Jeff Gordon had to check up just a little bit. He was closing on Tony Stewart. And the 27 of Paul Menard a little too quickly. Mark got into Jeff, and that got him a little bit loose, and then that's when everything else happened from there. And you can see right here is Brian Vickers. He's sideways. It looks like he's trying to save it. Oh, my, look at this little. Oof. Wow. Matt Kenseth scooting by there. What a terrible crash. You can see right there, Matt Kenseth just gets into that left front of Jeff Gordon, and Gordon goes up and gets in the side of the 71. Gilliland, nowhere for Kurt Busch to go. Look. Brian Vickers, and they just stack up from there. Look, that's a six-pack into the wall, just all in one move. And this is the way the big one works at Talladega. I saw cars running in the top five that were involved, cars running outside the top 25 that were involved. Yeah, I hate that. Most of the cars in the low groove up until then. Oh, Boyer took a hard shot oh, after 70, contact from Gilliland. So did the 71. I mean, there are cars that were getting pounded in this wreck. Running seventh, Johnson with a brake problem, and Jamie McMurray has destroyed the right side of his car. Yeah, he Whose brakes that. fail? Was I it think Jimmy Johnson talked, I think or was it was Jamie, Jamie McMurray? I don't know, but I don't know. See if yeah, oh, right yeah. there. See the smoke, yeah. Uh, actually, the right rear. Uh, it looked like fire in the right rear. It did look like a, a failure in the right rear. He turns left trying to ooh, get away from that wall. Heavy impact. The right side. That'll take the wind out of you. Now, how? what, what happened here is what we've got to figure out. How did Jamie McMurray get involved? I don't know how much brake fluid would have come out of that 48 car, but it could be that Jamie Mack hit something from the 48 car. Or were there any parts or pieces that flew off right, the 48 right. car? That is... 
Oh, oh, that's a hard. wicked hit. Remember, we're talking 200 mile an hour down into that corner. When Johnson's car was going sideways, inside the right rear wheel was glowing bright red. You yeah, don't you often see that on the rear brake. No, I, there was some fire coming out. I think Johnson, I think it, McMurray ran over something. And that may have been brake fluid that caught on fire of those on that hot those hot parts on the right rear that was we saw it was turning red. You see Jeffrey get loose. It's just side by side through the corner is tough here, and it takes the side force off of the inside car. And if you're if you're in that car, you have to be ready and know that, and try to anticipate it. Hard to do though. And what a huge impact from both of those cars. You see. The double zero landing castle kind of got squeezed into the wall, and both of those guys hit really hard. We've already seen Jeffrey Earnhardt climb out of the 96. Look at this right here. It just squeezes castle. That is a major impact for both drivers. And what a break that was for Gordon, but look on the high side. Oh, Gordon comes up. Oh, he, oh, got no, he got Kenseth. He got Kenseth. Oh, and there goes Jeff. Jeff's in the inside wall, hard yeah. into the wall. Caution will wave. Caution will wave. The field is frozen. We'll oh, be coming back man. to four to go. That was, oh, and he almost got clipped again. And you're right, Daryl. Jeff's car just pushes up, won't hold the bottom of the racetrack. Couldn't hold it down. And this thing goes in here. And it hits an opening. That's why oh. it knocked. That's what happened. Oh, my God. It hit that opening, and it just ripped the front end off. Of There's it. no safer barrier there. No. no. Now, Jeff is okay. Let's ride along in his Chevrolet. That was one hard lick, but you could hear him playing with that oh, throttle yeah. all the way yeah. through one and two. Kane's car down low on the racetrack. Oh, there he comes. Oh, something, my. Wow. Yeah, man. Broke. something broke. I, I'm not I'm not so sure he didn't just come off of pit road. Or was he out there riding around for a while? But obviously something broke, maybe in the suspension. Yep. Not the homecoming that Clint Boyer wanted. The Emporia, Kansas native. Hard into the wall and he is out of the car and getting into the back of the ambulance. Take a look. He was running 16th. See, he gets loose right Sideways, there. Yeah. yeah. And ends up overcorrecting and hits the wall really hard, hard impact. It's right along with Jeff Gordon. You turn the wheel back right and the front tires catch this is what happens so you just got to not turn in the wheel back to the right as hard it's very difficult to do we see really good race car drivers do this and every tire is different you know the left side tires and right side tires are different when you turn that wheel back to the right the left side tires sometimes dig this is a different tire than we're going to run than we ran last week at charlotte so every tire behaves a little bit differently when he got loose he just got the wheel turned too far back to the right hard impact in the wall. Yeah, watch the run these drivers get that are lined up. Here comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. right there in the 88. Watch the burn. Oh, 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 here, here we go. go. Here we go. Oh. And she's all right after a hard crash and the caution flag is out. Where is the contact? Somebody's going to come down into her, I think. Almarola. Yeah, right there. He got on the bumper of it. Looked like McMurray's car, the one, turned him a little bit to the left. Thank God for safer barriers. That was a hard, hard lick. It's almost that car didn't even look like it slowed down as it was going across there. I'm so glad that the all these racetracks have found, have put safer barriers where we never had them before. And here's a perfect example of why we need them everywhere. Bottom, bottom, bottom. There you go. Keep digging. Three wide. 
Is that is that not? Did you see what she did with her hands? Yeah, all that open wheel experience. Indy Darryl. car, all that open wheel experience. She knew not to hold on to that steering wheel. That is amazing. I saw her do that here in the ARCA race a couple of years ago. I mean, if you hold on to the wheel there, you can break a wrist easily. Yeah, but when that you, wheel wrenches your but your hands. You, this one at lap 96, four wide. The red number one of Jamie McMurray tips into Austin Dillon's number three, which pins David Gill into the wall. Jimmy Johnson and Michael Annette go spinning. There's Annette's car into the wall. Boy, and Chris Busher flips down the back straightaway. That 46 hard into that safer barrier driver's side. And Tony Stewart, remember just a, not too long ago, he stayed out and he led a few laps and he said, hey guys, thank Jimmy Johnson for letting me take the lead. I needed to get those five extra bonus points. Looking for a win here, his first at Talladega, never won here before for Tony Stewart. Been pretty racy, top 10 for a while. We have trouble. Guys. Close out, yellow, yellow, yellow. Denny Hamlin in the wall, the leader, another problem now. You okay, front. Denny? And he hit it a ton up there. Uh, leading the race, let's watch again what happened. Watch, watch the right front. Oh, that is a hard Man. impact. Thank goodness for the safety, safer barriers there and all of the things that NASCAR has implemented inside, including the Hans device there, in there. Catch your breath. That was a hard lick. Yeah, hard Definitely change. got some kind of issue right here with these tires. Yes, we do. All the way from the bottom of the racetrack, from that yellow line all the way up into the uh, safer barrier. Watch, watch Tony Stewart getting by right in front of the 18 car. Watch how fast this car goes up there to the to the outside wall. Half yeah, back wow. and outside. Keep coming. Keep coming. Landon Castle broke either a left rear hub or axle on his number 40 going into turn number three and the car takes off and it pounds the safer barrier right here. I mean, you can see the whole left rear hub, wheel, tire, everything came off that car. Look how high up in the air it was. It, 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 again, Larry, it's just one of those things. This racetrack will, it will absolutely, you can see right in there as he goes down the hill uh, that it just broke that whole end of the housing off, hub and all. Now he's fine. He told the spotter on the radio he's okay. That is the hardest hit I've seen at this racetrack since your brother hit the crossover gate.